friends! Today is a really good day because I am wearing a sloth sweater. This is from the men's section at Target, by the way. Um, I bought it for my husband, but I really just wanted it for me. Like, I just appreciate sloths so much. Did you guys know that they started selling the peppermint mocha from Starbucks in, like, bottled form? It's really kind of delicious. Today's a really exciting day because I have some new goodies from e.l.f. I wanted to show you guys. And when they sent me their fall PR package, because these products were sent to me from e.l.f. Because we are friends, in case you guys did not know, they're always super generous to me. I got a fall PR package, and honestly, it was filmed in my old townhouse. I lost the footage, found it again, like, maybe a month ago, and I just thought it was so outdated that most of you probably already knew about those products. So these are the new things for winter. And I'm also going to be giving you, like, mini reviews and doing full swatches. So this is going to be a very in-depth video. I know some of you prefer quicker hauls or ones where I don't talk as much but I just feel like there's a lot to go over here um, and I just want to make sure that I'm telling you everything about these products so the first product I want to talk about is the new lip kiss balm and I have this in every color I believe that is out I took the rest of them out of their packaging and I put it in this little makeup bag which is also new from elf it's like this really pretty sequined black bag I'm obsessed with it but it says here this beautifully tinted balm helps create baby soft lips infused with vitamin A and E grapeseed oil and jojoba oil to help nourish protect and moisturize lips it also does does say it has a minty flavor so essentially this is just supposed to be a tinted balm. The first color I have here is called Berry Sweet and as you can see this is just a really pretty berry tone color and it definitely is sheer on first pass. I'll quickly swatch it right next to here again. Just one quick pass. You can see there's a little bit of a tint but it's also super duper buildable so that's gorgeous and I can definitely smell the mint, but it's subdued, and also the place where I put it on my hand, it's not tingly. So Bear Kiss is a nudie pink, and I also really like that the tops kind of correspond with the shade that these are. Bear Kiss is very, very, very sheer, not similar to the last color that we swatched at all. I do not feel like this one is super buildable, but if you just wanted like a little bit of something, it would give you a nice brownie nude tint. We have Smoochy Spice, which is just kind of like a brick red shade. This one is very appropriate for fall and winter. We have Pucker Pink. This one is gorgeous. I feel like this would be really nice just to brighten up your whole face on a minimal makeup day. Howdy Raspberry is a raspberry hot pink. This one is kind of like magenta, but it doesn't look too unwearable. So if you have trouble with brighter colors, I would recommend this line because a lot of even the bright shades would be very wearable because they are so insanely sheer. I'm throwing all of this on the floor, by the way. Pulling a Gigi Gorgeous and just throwing it all to the wind. This is flirty and perky pink. This is a really bright and cool toned pink, and I like the fact that I'm not really seeing anything necessarily overlapping right now. Like, I feel like all of these shades have a unique quality to them, and nothing is so similar that I'm like, yeah, no, you shouldn't have created that. This is the shade Kissing Coral, and this is a pastel corally pink. This one would be beautiful, beautiful for summer. The final shade is XO Red. This is just a bright cherry red. So, in general, there was only one shade that I didn't feel like had the best pigmentation, and that was the nudish brown shade that I swatched towards the beginning. All of these are really nice and pigmented. They all feel super smooth. I would highly recommend this formulation. They feel so soothing on the hands. There's not really like that minty tingle that you get with a lot of mint flavored products or things things that have mint in them. They just feel really nice and hydrating and the color selection is amazeballs. The next product I want to talk about is the illuminating palette. But as you can see, this is just a palette with illuminators and kind of like some bronzy shades down here. This is perfect for contour. It's just like a cool brown. You've got kind of like a warm shimmery brown and then two highlighting colors, one more yellow and one more pink. These are not ultra ultra shimmery like they're not going to give you that obscenely highlighted look where it's just so insanely obvious that you've got like a strip of shimmer up here which personally I'm into but it's also nice to have something more subtle all of these were one pass this would probably be a really nice contour if you're like so freaking pale that everything looks so orange on you and this one to me looks like it has the faintest bit of a sheen but it's nothing insane the other colors definitely have a strong shimmer to them as well these are are beautiful. I'm obsessed with this palette. It is so, so pretty, and the packaging on these has improved. Um, e.l.f. has had little four-pan palettes for, like, their contour powders and their blush powders and their foundation palette. I feel like it's sturdier than it used to be. It's been a few hours since I did my makeup, so let's just pop on that yellowy tone powder and see what it does. You can see it just brings, like, the faintest bit of life 
to the skin and it's so subtle. I don't know, I'm really, really into it. You guys probably need this in your life. We're about to get up and into Swatch City, but this is the e.l.f. Artistry eyeshadow palette and this has 20 eyeshadow colors. I wanna quickly say, this packaging is very familiar to me. Um, so you get a little pouch, you zip it open, and then you pull out, if I can do it, this palette. And then I open it up and it is absolutely inspired by what I was thinking it reminded me of. So similar to the Urban Decay Vice palettes and I'm really sorry about the lights and stuff. There's only so much I can do. To me, this looks so insanely inspired by the Urban Decay Vice palettes. The format of this is just so similar that I feel like it can't be a coincidence. There are obviously in here 20 shades of eyeshadow and I'm not gonna go through with each and every one, describe each shade, but off the bat, swatches just look absolutely freaking incredible you can't really see that matte highlight shade but I mean these are so buttery to the touch let me grab my makeup wipe I mean the formulation is just beautiful we're almost yeah we're officially halfway through and they feel so so buttery and so smooth and that pigmentation is amazing I was barely touching these ignore these three swatches right here these are some lip colors I'm actually about to talk about but here are the rest of the swatches from this palette um, all of these were one pass. There was not a singular dud in this entire palette. This is probably the most amazing thing I've seen from e.l.f. ever. These are better than the Prism eyeshadow palettes, which everyone raves about. They are more pigmented, they feel even silkier and softer, and there's more shades in here to work with. You also get in here a double-sided brush. You get a little fluffy side and a flat shader on the other end. This is a buy for me, absolutely 100%. If you guys wanted to get anything from this haul, please do not skip this e.l.f. palette. This would be an amazing gift for friends or family. This does not feel like inexpensive or affordable makeup in any way, shape, or form. The pigmentation is there. The quality of shadow is there, and I am just so excited. If you guys want to see a tutorial with this, just let me know. So um, while I was actually letting my camera take a break and swatching the rest of those colors, I actually went ahead and swatched three new matte lip shades from e.l.f. This is like my favorite lip formula ever. These are some of my very favorite matte lipsticks. So they released three new colors that I want to go ahead and show. The first one is in the shade Scarlet Night and this is kind of like a blackberry shade. It's a little bit purpley. It's nice and dark and super vampy. They're non-drying. They're easy to wear through the day and they have a very thin formula that's easy to reapply or switch out your lip color if that's something you want to do. The next shade that we have here is Rowdy Rouge and this is like a really gorgeous orangey red. The final color is called Mulberry Maven. This is just a really beautiful pinky berry shade. All three of these are so beautiful, no complaints. This formula is an amazing, amazing formula. And if you have not checked them out, I would highly recommend doing so. There are some new brushes from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. 11 piece brush collection for eyes, lips, and face. <laughs> and it comes in this really cool gray case like so. You open it up and there are just 11 brushes, obviously. Now, these are not brushes I have ever seen before. For. Elf has two lines of brushes, their studio line and their essential line, but I've never seen the ones with the silver handles. They feel like studio brushes though. They're really nice and soft. Um, oh my god, that would be amazing for blush. You get this really large, fluffy, domed powder brush. A smaller, more structured blush brush. I have a blush brush from e.l.f., um, their studio line, and it's more pointed than this. It's not as, like, rounded. I use it to set my under eye area, but this is more domed and rounded, and it almost feels softer. This is so cool. You get this oversized, fluffy brush that would be good for concealer or very, very, um, general crease application. You get a flat shader, and it's just a generic, super soft soft flat shader brush. You get a very small pointed smudger brush that would be good for liner and then also an angled liner brush as well. You get this extremely narrow fluffy brush. This, can you see how like thin this is? I wonder how you could really do, I'm gonna have to use this and see exactly what this is good for because I've never used a brush like this before. Um, I feel like most of my crease brushes are a little bit more domed and they have a larger surface area so you can get like a very um, sort of not messy but not super precise crease application that's easier to blend but I don't know, I'll have to give it a try. I will not knock it till I try it. You get a flat top buffer brush like so. You get a super thin fan brush and this is really soft but it's a lot thinner than most of my fan brushes so again, don't know how that would work. 
you get this sort of like pointed shader brush this would be really good for general eyeshadow application and an eyebrow brush that has a spoolie on one end and an angled liner brush at the other end so in general I would say this has to be a really great buy I mean you get so many brushes you get this great great brush case which a lot of these brushes don't even fill up one of the little brush holes like you can see here I fit two of the larger brushes in one slot so you could put so many brushes in this amazing amazing for travel I would again I feel like a broken record but everything I've tried so far is so good four for you elf you go elf so we have a few new additional brushes that I want to talk about elf has come out with a line of almost like duo fiber brushes they had like buffing brushes that were super similar to this um that they sent me probably back in the fall and I wound up gifting them to a friend just because I have so many brushes and I do not need more buffing brushes but now I'm really intrigued with the quality of those last brushes like these are probably going to be amazing we have the flawless face brush and this is just a large domed powder brush that would be great for powder or blush oh it's so soft if there are any guys watching this is why girls like to do their makeup because companies make brushes like this we have the sculpting face brush and this is kind of interesting it's like a contour brush but it has a little dip in as you can see and so I'm not sure if that makes it any better I'm going to have to give this a try and see and I'll mention it in a favorites video or something and the last is the flawless like airbrush brush I think that's how they're marketing this and I'm assuming this is just like a domed brush to apply liquid foundation normally I don't like brushes when they're this domed I like a bit more of a flat top cut to apply foundation they came out with two new lip exfoliators the first is in the flavor mint maniac if you've never tried the elf lip exfoliator essentially it is just like a sugar scrub they obviously have no color payoff but they almost have like little granules of sugar and they help to exfoliate your lips i like that they're in this lipstick sort of tube because it makes it so easy to exfoliate your lips something grosses me out about those pot lip exfoliators like i just don't like dipping i don't know i mean i don't I don't like pot products in general really where you have to dip your fingers over and over again it just kind of grosses me out the other flavor oh no we'll have to see if we can reshape this in the freezer or something I'll ask elf how I can make that go back into the tube I'm assuming it was just exposed to temperature or something but this one smells like cherry it's almost like a vanilla cherry so those are the two new flavors I just wanted to see if either of them felt different on the hand but they really don't um, out of the two I like the mint one better but just so you know in case you didn't like the scent of the original or you want a nicely scented lip balm lip balm lip exfoliator these are new flavors scents whatever speaking of lips we also have the new kiss it goodbye lip color remover this is really cool lip stains and long-lasting lip colors have met their match oil-based formula gently breaks down and removes color infused with aloe and jojoba to soothe and hydrate lips that is such a cool concept i think what we'll do is just swatch another one of these on the hand and see how it works so that i don't mess up the rest of my makeup for directions it says squeeze a small amount onto a clean finger and apply it evenly all over lips leave on for around 30 seconds to activate and remove with a cotton pad so let's do the thing i'm just gonna squeeze a tiny bit and what i'll do is just massage it so obviously immediately like it's smearing the product but we'll wait the full 30 seconds um, and see how it breaks it down. Okay, so it's been right around 30 seconds. I'm just going to take a paper towel and really lightly wipe. And most of the stain is gone. We'll do one more wipe just to ensure. Um, you know, I'm still definitely rubbing, but most of the lip color is gone. And these are not lip colors. I'll go ahead and swatch it again and just try to rub it off. These are not shades that after they kind of set, you can just wipe away. When I wipe, there's a definite stain left. So it definitely helped to get that color off. Plus, this section of my hand feels really nice and hydrated. If you have a couple of bucks to spend, definitely pick it up. Um, it can save you a lot of time and hassle rubbing away at your lips. So e.l.f. came out with two new mist and sets. There is an illuminating mist and set. I'm assuming that this is just a dewy setting spray. And there's also a matte magic mist and set. So what I'm going to do, I'm not really a matte person not really a matte person I'm not really an oily person I don't experience a lot of trouble with oil I'm very very dry so what I'm gonna do is see how this feels on the back of my hand I'm not gonna spray it on the face because I'm scared okay I'm gonna do this again so you guys can see this but that was such a concentrated spray so I'm just going to like there is a lot of moisture there we'll see how it dries down but um I would probably switch this over to a different bottle with a different nozzle or something so we'll see if it dries down I mean it's been on there for a few seconds now and we're still pretty wet 
So next we have new elf blotting sheets and this is really weird. Um, okay, so we have a little container and on the container is a lovely scene, a street. I don't know where, it's a street. And on the inside we have blotting papers and then we have this little doodad. And it looks like there is an adhesive strip on the back. At least that's what I'm assuming. I feel like I know how this works and I'm not gonna read directions cause who does that? Okay, I think I did the thing. I think that was the sheet I was supposed to peel. So it feels lightly sticky, not super sticky. We're just gonna go into here and oh, we got a paper. You know, I've had my makeup on for several hours. Let's go ahead and blot this and just see what it does. I feel so very fancy. Look at that, it really is picking up excess oil. I'm not really noticing any makeup being picked up either. Like I feel like you can tell ever so slightly on the pad um, like that there's a little bit of makeup, but it's nothing insane. And I feel like I'm pretty much instantly mattified, man. That's really cool. 10 out of 10 would recommend. That is an amazing, amazing idea. Plus you don't have to hold the nasty oil sheet while you like blot it on your face. I'm I'm into this. This is going to be something that I repurchase for sure. So I didn't talk about this in the beginning because I was afraid I would be more excited <laughs> than anything else in this haul about these, but these are the new e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Creams, and they have these in four shades. So the first one I have, and I have taken this out of its package because I think I'm keeping this one. This is in the shade Taupe Blonde, and I went ahead and swatched this on the hand. This is just a very ultra light matte brown. All of these are obviously matte. They are meant for your brow. The next shade would be Light Brown and this is a little bit warmer in tone and also just a little bit darker. The medium brown, which is more of a chocolatey brown shade. Does it only come in three colors? I don't know. Maybe there is a dark brown and they didn't send it to me. I have two medium browns and maybe they just sent me two medium browns because they thought I would go through that. I will research how many there are and write it out right here so that I can let you guys know. But the formulation is super duper creamy and they set really quickly. Like there's not a lot of wiggle room once this is set down. So I'm really excited to see how these stand up to like wear and testing and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys wanna see a new from e.l.f. get ready with me. It probably will not be until after this month just because there is so much going on this month. I have so many holiday sets and palettes and stuff I have coming up um, that I just wanna push out reviews and tutorials and stuff on. So let me know if you guys wanna see this and I will try to get up for you as soon as I possibly can. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.